Hey y'all, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. Between a new house and a new job, life's been pretty hectic. But I'm back again with another Be Free Builds cargo camper update. In this video, I'll show you how I covered the walls to start finishing out the trailer build. But first, in classic Be Free Build style, I'm gonna show you how I cut another hole into the trailer. I'm putting in another window. This ought to make it look a lot less like a horse trailer and more like a camper. This window will be right above the sink in the front of the trailer. This is definitely one of those measure three times and cut once kind of deals. The jigsaw and the oscillating saw really get the job done here. Here I am, drilling it in. You'd think I'd be used to this by now, but there are a ton of screws. Here it is, all finished from the outside. I kind of like the asymmetry of it. It's functional anyway. From the inside, you can see how well it works in this space. A nice view right above the sink. So that's the third window I've installed in this trailer, and they're all the same size. I'm still debating whether or not to put a fourth one across from the bathroom. So now, on to the wall coverings. I bought 30-something feet of this vinyl flooring. The plan is to cut the roll into sections and glue them to the walls. It seemed like an easy enough plan. I rough cut the first section to put around the new window. First, I'll do a quick dry fit to make sure it covers the area and that it looks good. Then it's time to start gluing. The stuff is made to be used on the floor and certainly not made to be dripped all over your countertops. I trimmed around the window frame with a sharp blade. Getting those clean cuts was the hardest part of this whole process. Here's the next section. I skipped over the water heater. I'm still not sure how to make that look good in this space. Clearly, you can see that my glue spreading skills are pretty trash, but the material sticks, so I'm good with it. Like I said, cutting the edges is the hardest part. I'll end up putting some kind of trim across the top, which should hide the imperfections. Here's the first sections all hung up. I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. Now for the door. Gluing is pretty fun as long as you don't get too much on the floor.
This is the biggest section in the whole trailer. I did it in two parts. The first part is still massive though. The window section was really hard to get the glue around, especially with this big spreading tool. After a move and a haircut, it's time to start the doors in the back. These sections were pretty straightforward since the door was nice and square. I should have stopped the doors from moving though. Once I attach the vinyl to the glue, it stuck really well. I started getting the hang of it at this point, and this section turned out better than expected. Having these panels roughly cut to the right size really helped the install process go smoothly. Just a little trimming around the edges. I just keep working my way around the trailer. This last section was one of the harder pieces to cut since it has this pipe coming up at the top and this long tail section on the left. Overall, I think this really leveled up the look of this trailer. Just a few finishing touches and this bad boy will be done. I think up next is going to be finishing up the front cabinet system. I'm hoping to get the next few videos out pretty soon. If you like this video, click that like button and subscribe if you want to see more.